Hello everybody, and uh, today we are back for another one of these little draft lookovers, and today we are doing the Tampa Bay Ray Plaza, coached by Vinny. He's kind of new to the league format, but, uh, like, without even knowing, or if, if I hadn't said anything, you would know, because his team is very good, especially his top uh, six moms are really good, but he does have a few things that he's lacking, so I'm just going to get right into it. His first pick, uh, he picked right out of tier one, and it is an amazing pick. He actually grabs Talonflame. Uh, Talonflame is probably one of the best things, uh, considering it gets that priority Brave Bird, which can pretty much just completely wreck through any single team, uh, as well as priority Roost, which can be overlooked a lot. Uh, priority recovery is amazing in any mon, okay? Uh, and Talonflame is one of those mons that gets that. Um, and it has so many different sets you can run. You can run Citrus Berry, Acrobatics, if you want to be able to avoid Stealth Rocks, um, as well as you can run Sword Stance if you want, and then pretty much Sweep with a Priority, Brave Bird, or Acrobatics, depending on which one you want, right? Um, if you're fearing a Rock-type move, you can run Focus Sash with the Acrobatics to get Priority, set up Sword Stance on the Rock-type move, bring down to your Sash, and you have that amazing, right? There's just so many different things you can do with Talonflame. And then also, it synergizes pretty well with his next pick, which is straight out of tier 2. He's actually going to grab Ferrothorn. Uh, now, Ferrothorn is amazing defensive wall. In my opinion, it's a better Garchomp, because although Garchomp can also attack, Garchomp, if you look in OU, it's mostly run as like a tank chop with rough skin, rocky helmet, but it pretty much dies to any ice type hit, right? Uh, when Ferrothorn doesn't really have those same weaknesses, the only thing you can kill a Ferrothorn with is a fire type attack, right? But if you want to hit it with a fire punch or a flare blitz, then you gotta think again because it's gonna be doing about a quarter of your health with that Iron Barb's Rocky Helmet, right? And also if it's Oka Berry, then it can be taking two and still hitting you with that damage as well as maybe even getting a knockoff off or like a leash sheet off, right? Uh, so yeah, that's an amazing pick for him, and it's just going to keep getting better. He's actually going to, for his third pick, snag Latias. Uh, so Latias is an amazing mon because it can be run support or it can be run all out attacking. If you have a life orb to Draco Meteor or a choice spec Draco Meteor, something is going to die unless your opponent has a fairy type. Okay, something is going to die. I do not care what you say. Latias is just too threatening, and it can destroy any anybody's team, okay? Um, also, you can run support. It does get roost, which is pretty good. Um, it does get that reliable recovery, as well as it gets some good coverage moves, like energy ball. Um, it gets psychic and dragon moves, of course. But yeah, it just gets some good coverage. You can also run dragon dance. It does get earthquake and dragon claw and that kind of stuff. I don't think it gets any physical psychic moves, but still, if you don't need that, it's fine. Right? Sometimes you won't need psychic staff. But uh, he's going to actually keep making his team bulkier with this next pick. He's going to grab Snorlax out of tier 2, which is very scary, especially with the team that he has. Um, and, uh, well, there's not much to say about it. It's another thing that has some reliable recovery in rest, sleep, talk. It gets access to body slam, so he can be paralyzing things so that Latias can come in and drop some Dracos, right? Uh, Latias can really do so much, and it was just amazing that he could pick up these two things, especially with the speed, um, the speed control with Snorlax's Body Slam can really help out Latias, and it's a very scary duo, and just with these top four, pretty much he can bring these top four every single week, and pretty much win, but to make it better, he's gonna grab the low tier Mega, he's actually gonna be the only other one who grabs the low tier Mega, he's gonna pick up Mega Diancy. Uh, Mega Diancy is incredibly scary with that amazing speed stat. I'm pretty sure it's 110 speed. And then it has 160 in both attacks. And then if I'm correct, it has 110 in both defenses also. So you can run a bulky magic balance set if you want, only having to fear steel types, right? And if you don't want to run bulky, you can just protect first turn to get that speed boost. And then Moonblast and Diamond Storm and almost everything on his opponent's team will be dead. This is another kind of Latios type mon where it has amazing stats, so you can really choose what you want to do with it, right? And with the amazing ability of Magic Bounce, it's just a great mon altogether. 
so it it meshes pretty well with the whole thing it gives him a fairy type so now some things that he's lacking is a bulky water type um and a fast electric type and a good ground type so um he's just gonna go into his next pick let me just get it up and it's actually gonna be rotom heat so he takes care of that electric type the volt switch that he kind of needed in Roto Heat, which is another great pick, although it's another fire type that can kind of get bodied by a rock type move, it's not that bad, and he doesn't have to bring it every week, and he's proven that by picking up another um, Volt Switcher right after it, so that he can, if he wants to bring Talon Flame, he can bring this thing instead of Rotom Heat. He's actually going to grab straight over tier 3, he's going to grab Electros. Uh, now, Electros, I think, is one of the best things in League format, considering it's down in tier 3. And it has so much versatility. You can run bulky assault vest, bulky leftovers. You can have so many different moves. It gets Giga Drain, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, I think, Surf. It gets so many different coverage moves, which just makes it an amazing mod. And also having no weaknesses without, unless it gets like smacked down or like Mold Breaker or something, just makes it all that better. So yeah, I think that Electros is one of the best mods on his team. So right here, He's going to uh, pick up another bulky steel type, but I don't know, I think it's fine. Uh, he's actually going to grab Registeel. Uh, so this thing was an okay pick, uh, just pretty much another physical steel wall. It kind of does somewhat of the same thing as Ferrothorn, except it can't do as much, right? It can't damage you when you attack it, right? And it can't like do things like Leech Seed, but it does get that rest, or it does use rest very well, like something that Ferrothorn doesn't do, so it can be used pretty well. And now he's actually going to dip into tier 5. Uh, he did kind of need a rapid spinner. I'm not sure if Ferrothorn gets it. It might. Um, so right now he only really had defog. So he's actually going to grab a rapid spinner from tier 5 being Avalog, which is not that bad. Um, Avalog can be an amazing physical wall. It also gets access to sturdy, which is pretty cool. And uh, one thing that I saw in, I forget what league it was, but it was in some sort of league, someone ran sturdy mirror coat Avalog, so that if you wanted to hit it with a special attack, it could pretty much just kill something with mirror coat. Because we all know it can't take a special attack. It couldn't even take, like, an ice beam, okay? An ice beam would probably do, like, 50% to an Avalog, okay? Avalog is very frail on the special side. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, now he's going to grab a tier 5 coin, which one thing that I didn't really like about his draft was he gave himself way too many extra coins. Way too many. He picked up, um, in the coin section, he got a tier 4, he got a tier 5, and then two tier 1s and a tier 2. Which I don't even let, he didn't even spend 350, and then he picked up the low tier mega to get the extra 50. So yeah, that's one thing that I was like, kind of skeptical about, but... Uh, it's all okay. He's actually going to grab a Tauros. Uh, so this thing, I don't really understand his thought process here, because that's now he has five things that are weak to fighting. Tauros, Norlax, um, Registeel, Avalog, and Ferrothorn. With only, and actually I think Mega Diancy is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Fairy resists fighting, but I know Fairy's good against it, but I'm not sure if it resists it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think that Tauros isn't a bad pick, but I feel like since he had the points, he could have picked something better. And so now next, he's actually going to grab uh, Golurk for his tier 4 free. Uh, Golurk's actually really good. It can run some like scarfed shenanigans with Dynamic Punch. It does get nowhere Dynamic Punch. Uh, and it just hits super hard. Unfortunately, it doesn't get much physical ghost stab, which makes it not very good. But yeah, so finally, he's actually going to grab Bisharp. Uh, Bisharp is okay with his team. It is another steel type, which I don't think is very good. It adds on to its fighting weakness, which now the count is at 7, I think. Yeah, 7. Um, with only having 1 immunity and 1 resistance. Or actually, I think 2. But yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, I just... It was an okay pick, but I don't think that it was good with his team. Like, it's a good individual mon, but not with the overall team that he has, right? So there's many ways to counter his team, but if you don't counter it correctly, it just has so many powerful mons on it that it's going to be hard to beat. But, um, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for this team, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will pass them on to the coach. And without further ado, uh, I will see you guys in the next Overlook video. Bye-bye.